Welcome back to State of the Map. We're track number one for day number two. Um, super happy to have you join us again. We're going to have, have another conversation with Julie uh, Fanny Waldari, uh, who is within the Indonesian community. She's going to be sharing us with us a topic called OSM Deep Facts in a de Developing Country, an Indonesian Case Study. So what is the impact of people's programs in countries um, and what does that mean for local mappers? And so she'll, she'll share some research and it looks like she's used Pascal Mises' uh, tools, which is fantastic to see how data-driven um, in addition to that, she's going to be talking a little bit more about the interviews that they did um, with the data that they found out. So who are the top mappers in Indonesia? And then what are their experiences in terms of behavior change? And how does that, how do people join and what, what, what inspires them? So with that, um, I just want to remind you that there is a pad um, that, that is in the program that you can click. So please do add any resources, which um, uh, uh, Dewey Fanny is going to add. Um, please do add your questions and comments and we look forward to hearing from, from her and then we'll come back and have a QA. and a um, For those of you who have not met, my name is Heather Leeson and I'm just really glad to convene this conversation with you for State of the Map. Hello everyone, greetings from Indonesia. I hope everyone is in good condition and COVID-19 pandemic can be finished so we can get back to our normal activities. And of course, it's an honor for me to be able to join the State of the Map 2020. I am Fanny from Humanitarian OpenStreetMap Team Indonesia. I will present to you my topics about OSM defects in developing country, Indonesia case study. So let's get started. The number of OSM contributors tends to increase every year. We can see from the statistic by Pascal Ness seen improvement. But unfortunately, the graph does not get the exact number of total contributors in Indonesia. The graph only shows and increase the number of contributors. OSM was introduced by Hot OSM since 2012. Until 8 years later, there were not many local mappers who contribute sustainably, even though many OSM agendas from various parties such as Grab, Hot OSM, Red Cross OSM Indonesia, National disaster agency, etc., including training and mapathon. The trend in developing countries tends to be less voluntary mappers than paid mappers. Why? Even though there are more and more new OSM accounts in Indonesia. Questions. Who are the contributors? How and why did they contribute to Indonesia? Jakarta City is a center of activities in Indonesia. Other big cities also may have many mappers, but not as much as Jakarta. Based on overview of OpenStreetMap contributors by Pascal Ness, there are six different types of mappers. Number one, new register. At least one change set is done. Number two, non recurring Less than change set. Number three, junior. Less than 100 change set. Number four, senior, less than 500 change seat. Number five, senior plus, less than 2,000 change seat. Number six, uh, gold with more than 2,000 change seat. Seen from this picture, almost all my pearl level exists in Jakarta and the surrounding areas. When we check the list of all the types, it can be seen in the picture there are very many mappers level, but if we need to see the active mapper only and uh, contribute uh, a lot in OSM, we can unselect all the types living gold and it looks very different, which is only for contributor of the result. At first, I assumed that the mapper who mapping in the capital city of Indonesia was active and sustained, but apparently very few. So, I was so curious. Local mappers condition in Indonesia like other developing countries. There are still more paid mappers than volunteers. From the result of 500 top mappers in Indonesia two months active, then looking at the contributors mapper profile, 
It can be seen in the percentage diagram of who are the contributors in Indonesia. As much as 44.4% paid, paid member mention organization they are working related to OSM. As much as 33% voluntary member not mention any organization on their profile. Usually mention about their mapping interest or activity related to OSM. As much as 22.6% unknown. No information provided on their profile and usually their mapping area usually across continent or hit run type. So, after 8 years later in Indonesia, who have contributed to mapping in OSM? How and why did they contribute in Indonesia? To find out who has contributed to mapping in OSM, the first thing I do is preparing questionnaire. I am prepare a list of useful questions to find out who are the contributors, how and why did they contribute to Indonesia. The next one, I am looking for the data contributor from Pascal NIS through 500 top mappers in Indonesia and from overview of OpenStreetMap contributors in Indonesia. And uh, Mr. Pascal is happy to help provide data to me directly. The next, by sending message. I'm contact manually uh, the users by leaving a message on their contributor OSM accounts and contact by massively by posting in the several forum. And the last one is collecting data in Excel by processing data that answered by contributors who fill in the research questionnaire. Step 1 is the survey manual which results from a sample of 500 top Indonesia members who were active in the last two months and the data from overview of OpenStreetMap the contributors. I contact users via message on user profile OSM data mapper without a working profile, but the day mapping Indonesia. I ask their help via inbox to fill a questionnaire. Fortunately, some of them reach me back. And the step two is automatic survey. By distributing survey column to several OSM community groups such as OpenStreetMap Indonesia community, Health Mapper community, OpenStreetMap forum, diary entries in Indonesia, in hopes of reaching more local contributors and the result from a two-step survey which has been done i have sent 40 uh, 12 412 direct message manually by contacting contributors user profile plus distributing survey columns to several osm community groups and the result is 42 users reply to my message by fill in the survey to know more about their motivation and the mapping strategies, as after I send message to OSM account contributors, here are the response from 42 contributors. Who are they? Mapper background is usually related to their big contribution level. For example, hiking or cycling lover usually continue to contribute the, their GPX or add POI as long as they doing their hobby. Students and freelancer are categorized as voluntary mapper because the thing explained later show they are not getting paid for any contribution to OSM. Government worker and non-government worker are categorized as paid mapper because they map in OSM. The consideration of work is done 8 hours a day, 5 days in a week. Where they get to know OSM? Based on the result of, the, of a survey conduct, contributors get information about OSM according to their background. As much as 43.2% 40, of the largest source of information obtained by contributors through browsing on the internet, YouTube content by self-searching because they're hobby social media such as Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. So at this point, I can say that the information provided by communities itself helpful to make anyone get ready for their 
first contribution to OSM in the best way. As much as uh, 27% know OSM through the institution where they work in collaboration to get training from Hot OSM Indonesia, Grab Indonesia, and USAID. It is indicate it is indicate that OSM reaches wider cross organization level. Organized contribution also exists in Indonesia from this activity. From the University Roadshow by Hot OSM Indonesia gain 18.9% uh, of respondent and the rest of the respondent as much as 10.8% uh, obtained information about OSM from the open source community they involved. What their motivation? Based on the result of the survey entries from the contributors, their motivation to use OSM, number one is the easiest, with large amount of data can be contributed, making it easy to input data together, easy to understand, and data that has been contributed will be available to the public. Attractive appearance. Complete data, many features available can be accessed and utilized by anyone. And then can help others. Social works needs for humanitarian. It can take and give special info about an area. As additional comparison literature on the use of satellite or map expert, which usually use Google Earth, Global Mappers, and SES Planet. Job demands for house for house or building and road data. Needs for forum team often use it to map and design transportation network in a city or region. And the last one is their hobbies. When they are mapping in OSM, the number one is when there was a disaster in Indonesia. The next when work and project needs, the next one, when have a lot of free time. The next one, when spatial data in OSM is messy or wrong. And the last one is when there is a change in satellite imagery. From 42 respondents who answered that the best experience when using OSM, I categorize of with three best, um, best experience. The number one is self pleasure and satisfaction when the contribution is available on many devices. Number two is OSM as jobs demands become a hobby. It is from the demands of rock college to become a hobby. Number three is OSM not only mapping platform but also socializing tools. It means that OSM is not only technical but can discuss each other if there is an incorrect input. When I arranged this research, I had several expectations that could be done, but the reality what happened while doing it was not as I, pre I predicted. it. The number one is valid statistical data is hard to come. At the beginning of researching for the data, it is very difficult to find statistics for the long term, such as the number of registered account contributor in Indonesia each year from 20. 2012 to the present, or the number and username active account contributor in Indonesia. Thankfully, Mr. Pascal Nis wants to help at least give me advice and provide the data. This valid data statistical uh, is hard to come uh, for me because I am not uh, IT people. The number two is it. it's hard to contact contributors. When I am contact the contributors, it's really easy because uh, I can uh, contact them via direct message. But the challenge is getting their response in a short time. Maybe because it is uh, they are only active uh, in a certain time, their laser time. Number three is not many active volunteer contributors were found. Many is relative is relative in the Indonesia terms. It could 
actually that in Indonesia there were many volunteers just because of uh, inequality in infrastructure uh, like uh, example not having a laptop cell phone gps internet signal road access is too difficult to be routinely penetrated so not all volunteers are managed to be nosm contributors for now it could be that in the past there were people who had been trained or new osm but the difficulty of continuing contribution was because they didn't have the equipment for example people in the remote areas of the mountain understand how to input but they have nothing could be free time to contribution can be exchanged with time to find the food because there are still many whose lives are less prosperous in indonesia even those who are active and have access seems to have finished completing the big city number four is their motivation and experience as contrib contributors unique per individual the combination of respondents motivation and experience with osm mm -hmm. also directly affects the level of their mm -hmm. contribution for example experience people and their motivation because job demands are certainly more active in their contribution that brings us to the end of my presentation in brief the defect in osm in the indonesia are local mapper is a pleasure seeker too but in the small amount currently from respondents answers which in reality they map osm in their spare time spare time means it does not exact every weekend or every specific time so not those that are active continuously number two indonesia are is actively actively mapping by various mappers now and then it turns out that there are a lot of contributors who participate in mapping in indonesia whether it's paid mapper or volunteer mapper number three many many organization government or not in indonesia recognizing osm to fulfill their need this is uh, from the answer job demands or rectors assignment linking osm with their work because in indonesia map one map policy is still ongoing so many stakeholder needs to find as many as many uh, map platform resources uh, as possible to meet the needs related to special data one of osm alternatives i thought from the respondents answer why they were looking for alternative maps even though the, there are maps many maps apart from from the government from other companies okay that's all from me thank you for listening my presentation i hope uh, what i have shared will be beneficial for all of us thank you very much and goodbye three two one all right thank you so much funny for your wonderful presentation i have some questions here from the community um one wants to know what do you think motivates people to continue as contributors in osm um i think uh many members uh who want to uh, contribute to osm uh pressure i think like uh work or uh, projects or um college um college uh, for uh their homework i think uh maybe the pressure okay all right thank you um another one person is asking about um if you've included gender in your in your surveys and how many are female mappers and how many are male mappers um Unfortunately, uh, when I'm doing this uh, 
research when I'm doing the questionnaire, I don't looking for their um, gender, female or male. Uh, so I don't uh, get uh, the data. Okay. Mm -mm. Do you have any information about the platforms that they use mostly when they are mapping? For example, just them, ID editor or the mobile application they use? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, there I'm asking when, uh, what uh, they... Um, that they're asking, they want to know the applications or the platforms the that uh, the map has used um, to contribute. Mm -hmm. Oh, when, uh, when doing this uh, questionnaire, I'm not uh, asking what the platform, what yeah, platform they use, but I'm just okay. uh, asking about... Uh, they uh, mapping or uh, use a uh, satellite imagery uh, or uh, from internet or uh, survey in the um, survey uh, in the area. That's what I'm asking, not the platform they use. So uh, they also want to know, do you have overtime data analysis as well? For example, if someone started, started in OSM via Grab, Hot, do they stay contributing after they leave one of those projects? No, no, I don't have a, a data, uh, time, a time data analysis for uh, people who uh, are they contributing and leave. I don't have that data. I think uh, someone is saying that you need to consider it because it will be very good for your next stages and if it is included. Yes. Okay. Another person wants to know that it will be good for you to write up a methodology on how others might be able to analyze the community health and growth in their countries. So uh, if you write one, I think it will be something other communities can use so that they can use it in their communities. Uh, do you find okay writing a methodology? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm fine with that. Maybe I can uh, use uh, OSM diary to put, uh, yes, write this methodology on OSM diary. Okay, right. Hey. This is Heather. Um, so Dewey, I just want to say yes. thanks again and, and hi Trudy. Um, I think um, the methodology itself, I think it's a really important example. Um, and I think that the, there are some examples in OpenStreetMap already that Martin Ditas, I put this in the comments, but Martin Ditas did a study about humanitarian OpenStreetMap motivation. But I do think we need to figure out how to do that at a country level. Um, and it can help a lot. I listened to this morning to the community working group. I don't, I don't know if you heard their talk. They did it yesterday, uh, really late at night, so I was sleepy myself. But the idea of being able to measure um, community health, um, what you've shown is they're kind of portions of how they contributed. And all I think is happening. Is, is that there's some work that we can build on it. So I'm really thankful that you're going to make an OSM diary um, because I think the methodology and the fact that Pascal helped you um, in terms of being supportive is, is great. Um, there's a whole global community around how do we put metrics against community engagement. And I think you, you've you tapped into something that's really that start. Uh, back to True Day. But just congratulations on the work, Trudy. Okay. Thank you, Heather, for the comments and the compliment for me. I hope this uh, can uh, give a, um, have a beneficial for uh, OSM community, of course, and help uh, give a basic uh, uh, in the uh, uh, mappers in Indonesia. Wonderful. Trudy. Yes. There's another question. Uh, there's another question. Um, what do you think is the impact of the one map policy in the work of OSM in the Indonesia? Yeah, uh, as well when as I'm doing, uh, yeah, when I'm doing this, uh, this questionnaire, I get uh, some of uh, respondents answer. Uh, they uh, mappers uh, mapping in OSM. Uh, they need. Um, 
another platform uh, for their uh, for their um, mapping and so uh, i think um, maybe it's a link to uh, one map policy uh, in indonesia uh, because it's still going uh, i think uh, the answer uh, link from uh, link with that uh, project in indonesia i think that's so Yeah, so some people are giving in comments. I don't know if you have, you, if other people have comments on um, Telegram so that we can, because um, I haven't yet seen anything on Telegram yet. I guess but I, some I, people are saying. Go ahead, Trudy. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Hither is saying that it is really great to see the quantitative and qualitative analysis using OSM tools and connecting community. I think what you're doing is really great. Uh, so me, I just I, I just had one comment to make that if all communities would do this, I think it would also help us to uh, like to assess our growth in a more in a more sustainable way, in a more sustainable way. I think we, all communities should do this. You know, and I, I do I do agree with Trudy that the more metrics and understanding that we have of communities. Um, doing your research is is um, is important. Um, so again, I can't the the the, the local chapters and community working group in their talk last night. Um, they're going to have a community congress, and so I think um, maybe what we can do is recommend that the methodology that we have a conversation around the work that you've done, and then consider before that congress happens in November that maybe they a few more countries use the same methodology or build on it, because then we would be able to assess the community health um, in different places, and so that would be Indonesia teaching the rest of us um, for it. So just a thought for you. Um, I, I will send the link to you later. I know that we might have a few more minutes. I'm just going to check with Kyle, who's one of our amazing tech team. And I just want to say one more time, can we just give a thanks to the tech team for keeping us going? Because we have Indonesia, uh, Zambia, and Switzerland, and Kyle's in, in South Africa, and we're all here together on this journey. Kyle, how much more time do we have? We've got another 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Wonderful. So Dewey, if you could do this project more, what would you do to enhance it? Like, so now that you've done this first stage, what would you do for the next stage? Uh, like if you could do it again. When, mm -hmm. uh, I, when, when I have uh, more time, uh, we can collect uh, more respondents and get more, um, uh, get more uh, answer that uh, can help us to um to, uh, to 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 help us uh um get a more um, um yeah <laughs> that's what i mean yeah so what you would like is more data right yeah yeah <laughs> and maybe yeah, more time to analyze it now with yeah. the interviews when you talk to contributors you sent a note to them in the osm system right did you talk to anybody in person no no i'm just uh send them or uh, when we set that link to the uh, questionnaire survey and then mm -hmm. uh, may, uh some some of them uh uh, reply my message and uh, I'm just uh, thank thanks for their uh, help to me just uh, like that I don't uh, see them uh, in my in personal I hope okay. I can <laughs> right I've been doing um in my job I've been doing online interviews and so maybe um, like we're doing right now, it'd be interesting if you did a couple of small groups like this, um, because mm -hmm. sometimes people I have found um, and I interview, I work for the Red Cross Red Crescent. So I work with people around the world and everybody has different styles. Sometimes when we talk to them online, they're more comfortable than sending an email. Um, you yeah. get more data and, and I know it takes a little bit more effort, but yeah. And then for our data nerds, I'm sure that that's more complicated because you don't necessarily want, you just want the facts, ma'am. And so it's complicated for sure. So if you had more data, would you do this in other portions of, because I know that Indonesia is quite large. Um, is it is it that you had a majority of people from Jakarta region or you had it from all the little islands too? There's thousands of islands. 
So you got it was it was spread across the country. I just just remind me a bit more about the spread of of it uh, of the sample that you had. Um, when I'm uh, looking for their uh, OSM user profile, uh, and then I'm uh, see in overview OpenStreetMap, uh, the there are on Jakarta and the surrounding area, and some of them in the other cities, uh, not big cities, uh, like um, in the uh, of uh, in the different island too. Trudy, is your sound not working? Trudy has a question for you. Trudy, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted. I also wanted to find out: Do you do this uh, with uh, other people in your community, or it specifically uh, you do it alone? Um, I'm doing uh, this alone with help um, with my seniors in work, just like that. Not a community, uh, not a large people, just um, people on my work workplace. And uh, another question which I had, what are you like the findings that you've got and how are you going to use them to see to it that your community grows more than the way it is currently? Excuse me? How are you going to integrate um, results for to cause an impact in your community? If I understand correctly, Trudy, you're asking about um, growing the impact of the study. Is that correct? No, like how is she going to use the results she has gotten so that she can integrate them back in the community like to have to have policies that she will now try to use to see that the community grows. I hope I'm clear and, and understand them. So Dewey, does the research inform your next steps in the community? So does that mean that you'll make some changes? Does it? How does it? How, what will you? How? What will you do with this analysis next? Um. You said that you wanted to do another stage of analysis, right? So I think that's probably your next step, right? Yes. Um. Okay. Maybe for um, uh, example, like uh, when uh, sorry, I don't get what uh, the question. I'm sorry. I think we were just wanting to understand more about your next steps. Like, so now that you've done this and you said that you you would like more data and more analysis. Um, and I yes. think I think that's exciting. And so I look forward to seeing it. And then you said you would write a, a diary about your methodology, which is also exciting. Um, wonderful. So do you have any other comments or suggestions for other people who are researching? Yeah, yes, yes, you there? Yes. Do you have any Do you have any suggestions for other people who are doing research like this? Uh, for the for that uh, before question, uh, I think for um, strategy for uh, the mapping and the long lasting contributor, that's what uh, I want the next step. Nice, nice. Trudy. Yes. I do have any questions right now. Wonderful. Yes. I think I think we have all the questions that we've gotten today in the hack pad. In, sorry, in the pad, there's lots of questions and comments there for you, Dewey. I just want to say thank you so much, and Trudy, it looks thank like you're you. Thank you. And congratulations on your work, and yeah, Trudy. Thank you, Heather. Wonderful. Thank you so and much. Trudy, so thank you. Thank you.